Good morning. Today, starting off our day with some quiet weather. We do have some clouds overhead, but overall we're looking at some conditions that are pretty quiet and eventually we will see some sunshine once the sun is up and once these clouds clear out as well as we head through the day today. So conditions looking okay. It's just a little chilly out there to start off our morning. There are places that are well below freezing. We're at 21 degrees right now in Oaks. It's 22 in Devil's Lake. It's 23 in Langdon, 27 in Fargo, and 26 in Grand Forks. Over to the east, a bunch of 27s as well. Bidette, Bemidji, Park Rapids, Wadena, Detroit Lakes, and Fergus Falls all at 27 degrees. And so are a couple of other communities too. Our winds are on the lighter side in the east. We do have some gusts at times getting into the upper teens, both Cooperstown and Gwinter, a gust to 18 miles per hour out of the west. And your visibility, it's going down just a little bit, not something we want to see up in northeastern North Dakota. Even since our last update about 20 minutes ago, we're looking at uh, about five miles visibility in Cavalier, seven in Langdon, so something to keep an eye on. Radar indicating we've got something going on here closer to the radar site. Uh, likely uh, not really anything happening at this point in time, but can't rule out a flurry or two as we head through the day today. We're going to expand the view. You can see that we're pretty quiet throughout the tri-state area north of the border, seeing some snow, some snow over into Montana as well, and we could see some of that impacting us later tonight. So here's a look at conditions this morning. I expect to have some Cloud cover hanging around, but eventually that gives way to some sunshine. And as we head into the later part of the morning toward the noon hour, we're looking at mainly sunny skies and temperatures that are into the low 30s. So not much warming happening today. We'll get into the 30s to about 40 degrees. There's going to be a quick little disturbance that moves through, and especially out in our western viewing area, we have some cloud cover taking over for later today and the potential for a few snowflakes as well. You can see that starting to move into the Devil's Lake region. And as it moves eastward, our forecast model indicating it just kind of fizzles out. However, I do think we do have a chance for a few flurries or maybe even a light snow shower, especially up north as we head into the overnight hours tonight and into early tomorrow. So don't be surprised if you see a snowflake or two as we uh, work our way through the next 24 hours. Heading into tomorrow morning, those clouds associated with this system just slowly making their way east. And we're looking at some temperatures that are going to be pretty cool tomorrow yet again. Some numbers into that 30 degree range to about 35 for your highs. So really a, a struggle here to warm up over the next couple of days, though it is going to be relatively quiet. A little bit of a breeze in the wake of this system for tomorrow out of the west. Overall, uh, just a, a quieter forecast for you coming up here. Here's a look at your photo today, the beet harvest. It's been a slow one given the waterlogged way we've been and Jane sent us this photo. A nice pretty uh, looks like sunrise or sunset going on in the background of that photo. So we've got some great news for those of us who want to continue drying things out. We've got some dry weather pretty much throughout the week this week. We're going to see a temperature of about 40 on Monday or today. Tomorrow we'll be into the 30s and same thing on Wednesday. Check out these morning lows Wednesday and both on Halloween we're going to be into the teens. Now on Halloween itself, we'll see some clouds moving in. Temperatures are going to warm up to about 40, but that's during the afternoon. At nighttime, they'll start to cool down. So around trick or treat time, probably more likely into the 30s for us for your Halloween. So plan those costumes accordingly. And then it's not until Halloween night, overnight really, and into the day on Friday that we have our next system moving through with a chance for some wind and potentially some snow too. Temperatures are cool enough this week. We're looking at 30s to low 40s for highs, even as we head into the weekend. So cooling back again, yet again, adding, ending our October on a much colder than average note and starting off November colder than average as well. I feel like that's just been the theme that's, for yeah. all of the past <laughs> three months, like colder than average. Right, that's our norm these days, it feels like you're right. Thank you, Lisa. As the temperatures get colder, it never hurts to make your morning cup of joe steaming hot. Stick around. We're headed out to Bully Brew coming up next to see what they have brewing on their menu.